Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sumerian Gaming. I'm Sumerian, and this is my first Minecraft build. Basically, I, when I got a Minecraft Java Edition, I went to town with the mods and wanted to test kind of everything out at once and decided to build a Victorian mansion. So this is my very first Minecraft build with mods and figuring out how all that works. Now, for the rest of the video during the tour, you'll probably hear my kids in the background, because yes, I'm a mom, and unfortunately, kids are just usually always loud. Hopefully, though, down the road, as we get more videos done, I'll have a better setup, and we'll be a little more likely to get focused on the videos, and peace and quiet, and better editing styles, so we'll get there. <laughs> so bear with me as we get this started. But I just wanted to introduce myself, and say hi, and welcome, and I hope you enjoy my build. As you can see, we're working in Minecraft 1.12.2. Uh, uh, this allowed some of the uh, mods, which were a part of either 1.12 or 1.10 and up, to function with this um, version of the game. So, with all that and managed to get a pretty cool build, I think. So, without further ado, I suppose we shall take a tour of this build. Enjoy, and we'll get on with it. Zoom out here, get a good view of everything. And this is the build. This is the layout. I ended up spawning in a nice little mountainous region. It ended up really pretty. Uh, we can see as if this were the street coming in. It has a carriage round, carriage house over here, gardens over there, and the main house. So we'll go in. We'll start down here in the main level, go up the front walk. A lot of lanterns around, and then the street lamps. We'll take a quick tour around the uh, nice wraparound porch. A lot of scrolled iron work. Anytime I have the bars extend up, it does interrupt the pattern, but that's what you gotta do with these mods. A nice little seating area out here. Sit and enjoy the view. If you come around the back, we have another seating area, nice big couch, chair, look out over the mountains and the nice waterfall over there, and then this goes down into the gardens that way, which we will explore later. You might also notice this door over here, which we will get to. Oh, little lag. Too much stuff going on. Now, like I said, this was my test build, and this took me, gosh, worked on it a, a long time to get it right. Obviously, I had to get the foundation down. Um, double entryway here, which is common. Arched doorways. I did use the uh, picture frames that work so that you can uh, just enter a URL of an image, and so I've got all the Victorian art here. I have lots of like stained glass in the area. So you come in, we have a nice coat stand, you know, a nice suit of armor, the grand staircase over here. We do have a coat closet over here for any guests that need to hang up their coats. You come into the right over here, and we enter the library. Nice Japanese screen over here, old phone and camera, bookcases, grandfather clock, sitting around a nice fireplace with a bird cage, sit down, read a book. Come in here kind of to the left. I had, okay, I had to throw a TARDIS in there. I mean, it's time traveling, right? So Victorian era, he just came back here and he parked it there. 
Alright, this is the full library. With all the books, globe, art, lectern. Nice little globe. Over here's more like the study with the piano and the gramophone. Ship and a bottle over there. Chess game going on. Of course, we can't have, forget our tea. So, you can either come through the study here or you can go in kind of through the, the lounge here and you enter the dining room. We have sort of like a butler's table healer to prep anything that needs to be done with a main dining table overlooking the gardens out here. I had a chandelier up here, but it was too big for this area. Uh, we do have a nice buffet. Well, this is all the main part of the living space. We go up here to the main second floor. We can go out onto the balcony. A nice telescope for any stargazers. Looking out over the front and over the carriage house. Here is the children's playroom. It has nice little art that's kind of fantasy related or about children in here. A couple of nice rugs. The house might be a little haunted, we do have some floating items such as the castle. A uh, nice big toy box, lots of room to play. And this leads right into the nursery with the older kids' beds, and a baby's crib, laundry basket, changing table. We have some nights just set up over here, for an open space. We have the big hallway leading to the guest bed, with a nice vanity here, a couple of bookshelves, nice canopy bed and a wardrobe. Go all the way down and leads into the office. The office space here, scales, quills, ledgers, books, anything you might need. This here is the master bedroom, and with a red theme we have our tea, a nice rose, some art, red rugs on the floor, nice wardrobe, some red curtains, a nice, again, sort of vanity table here, some sewing supplies, a music box. I just about everywhere else I used the custom pictures, but this painting just seemed to fit so well that <laughs> I had to leave it. Nice canopy bed, bay window overlooking again the mountains, and the waterfall, a bit of the gardens over there. And you'll notice up here, the entire ceiling I did in stained glass with a glowstone of it, so it's always kind of lit. And the color glass matches the color theme of the room, such as the office being green, there's green above it. The guest bedroom being kind of a blue, light blue, we have blue above it. Now this, unfortunately, was kind of a last minute addition, because <laughs> I completed the house pretty much and I realized I did not have a bathroom, so here is the bathroom. Kind of almost a gray theme, oh, I forgot to fill in there. And we have the nice kind of old-fashioned plumbing, basin sink, old claw foot tub. Some nice beach art. And then here we're going to step back into the servants area. Notice they have their own hallway here. The person that takes care of the child, they have a little closet here. They have, like the nanny would have their own bed and the nanny has direct access into the nursery area. Take care of the kids. Now... I'll go ahead and go upstairs with a nice spiral staircase. Sorry, I am not very good on these and I tend to fall off. <laughs> this up here is the servants' quarters. They sort of have some generic art. Um, here I have like a broom cupboard, any extra supplies. All the bedrooms up here are pretty much identical. Uh, nice bed, stand, closet, little chair, little desk area. And there's a number of these going all the way down the hall, and then they have like a common sort of living area where they can sit and work on repairing clothes or reading or doing their own stuff in their own area. And the servants have direct access. Oops, see? I'm just not very good on these. And these stairs spiral all the way back down into the kitchen. 
If you go through here, you'll see dining room. So this is the servant's access to the dining room to serve the food. There's also a um, butler's window here so that servants in here can pass through through the window to the butler without disturbing the whole dining room. Uh, we have lots of, you know, meats, hanging and dried meats. We have this whole area sort of prepped. Lots of working cupboards and closets. Our wine rack, of course. Laundry area, so they can do the laundry. Have a nice tub and basin. They have a water pump type sink here with meant to be just like a basin sink, and then they could fill the tub. Everything they need to cook. Old fashioned stove, some ovens, teapot, coffee grinder. And all of this leads down into the root cellar where we have all the food stored in a nice underground spot. Plus, I thought I'd throw a bit of a eclecticness in there. And we have our potion station, a little bit of, you know, our solar system model and a little bit of the mysterious stuff going on down here, but generally we have our food, beer, wine storage, all that fun stuff. Then they can come right back up into the kitchen. They have their own hallway that leads into the main part of the house. And we're back at the main start again. Now let me reset. Oh, you know what? We can start back here. Just go back to the kitchen. I'm going to reset back today. And this is the door from the kitchen that leads right out. Oh, let's get rid of this right too. Okay, we set it back today, cleared the weather. We have this nice door from the kitchen that leads right out onto the deck that's close to the stairs here. So any of the servants working in the kitchen can come collect fresh food right from the garden. How about that? Um, I have a ton of mods that include a ton of different veggies and herbs and fruits. And so there's a little bit of everything <laughs> spread out across these big gardens. And there's oftentimes you know, they would have a functional garden like this. Hello, Mr. Creeper. You don't normally belong here. But that, and then, so we'll explore the gardens a little bit. This is our nice sort of main fountain courtyard. Just to sit and enjoy with a nice hammock and umbrella. Come down here, and we have sort of our pavilion type garden area. Nice swing and a lot of benches. I had a chest set out here, but it didn't fit quite as well as it sh wanted. I wanted it to. This is the rose garden. So we have a lot of gar roses and other flowers with a couple of lit up fountains. We have a viewing area out here again to look out towards the mountains and the waterfall. And so tons and tons of roses. Nice little sitting area with a bird bath. Our second fountain's over here. Another little seating area. This is indeed my hedge maze. It is a real maze. There is only one correct way to go to get to the center of the maze. You can kind of get a glimpse of it that way. No way to go that way. I'll show you just all the routes. Wander around this way, go back. Oh, nope, dead end. Go through here, go straight down. It was actually a lot simpler to lay out the maze than I expected it to be, and it worked out surprisingly well. I was actually quite pleased with how easy it turned out to work. Working this way, look up, oh, no dead end. So, see, it's actually a pretty impressive layout here. I was quite pleased with how well it fit all together. And we're at the middle of the maze! A nice couple seating areas, some flowers, and our fountain. 
Now, actually, what I'm going to probably do is I'm just going to fly out of here. You can see, actually, from above the maze. Now, if you come out here, we're going to end with... Oh, I need to get all the way down. If you go around here, again, it's kind of a servant's access to the back gate, where we go to the carriage house. So when people come in, they can pull their carriage through. They could park their own carriage in here, such as this. You know, I was surprised at the lack of carriages available in mods in Minecraft. But we have our horses that are all taken care of, hay, and a trough. And then when people enter and they park in here, they have a nice covered walkway almost all the way back to the house. So this is my Victorian house my design, guys. Let me know what you think. I was quite pleased with how it turned out. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, too. So leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks!